What is up guys, it is Tony here, and today we're doing an episode of Montage Editing Tutorials. Today we are in Final Cut Pro, and we are looking at a requested tutorial on something called a Velocity Track or Time Remapping. Uh, this is something that a lot of people uh, seem to want to do to enter into slow motion or exit out of slow motion with something that's along the lines of a keyframe. Uh, I found it pretty interesting that someone wanted a tutorial on this and how to do it on Final Cut Pro. Because in my opinion, it's relatively easy to do on Final Cut Pro. So how you do it is you get a clip like this, uh, preferably one with at least 60 frames a second because that's important for any slow-mo. Uh, I'm going to turn down the audio on this clip so we don't get any sort of uh, recording of the audio so it doesn't you know, annoy you guys or pop your eardrums or whatever. Um, and you're going to zoom in a bit on your timeline so you can see what's going on. And you're going to find the part that you want to slow-mo. So I think right here is a good place to go into a slow-mo, like right there. And you're going to cut it using the blade tool. So use your blade tool, you hit B, and then you click the two parts that you want to uh, isolate to create a clip like this. And then you're going to go into this retiming tool, and you're going to do a speed ramp. Uh, basically the same thing as a velocity track. And you're going to go to zero percent. So boom, you're going to have this speed track now where it's going to slowly ease into the percentage you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let this render. And once it is done rendering, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So as you can see, it kind of moves into that super slow-mo. Um, now, once you're inside of this velocity track, though, of course, you know you don't want to use the standard template. Uh, it basically allows you to customize it as much as you want. So we can go to 100% speed, and then we can go from 100 to 90, let's say. And then uh, we can go to 50-ish, and then we can go like down into the 10s. So it's a little bit more of a steep... Uh, slow motion. In fact, you can also drag this out more and have a fifth option of how slow you want it to be. Um, so we'll take a look at that now. So now it has a little bit more depth to it. So basically, um, I don't want to go too in depth on what you can do with this, but you have a lot of options of what you can do. You can add more tracks um, as you go just by dragging it. Um, and you can just you know screw around with it. You can have it go from slow to fast to slow again. Um, I usually don't use this. I usually just grab the parts I want myself and I customize it. Uh, another option you have is you can come out of a speed ramp. So you can do from zero. So now it starts at super slow and then it slowly speeds up to uh, a more full speed. Um, so obviously you have a lot of options of what you can do with these speed ramps. This is basically how you would do a velocity track in Final Cut Pro and you can um, modify what you would do personally with it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them below. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.